Because uh, had we come out uh, of the first half with one nail, it could have been a different story. Second half, I think today we were a little bit wasteful, to be honest, uh, not to take the chances that we got. Because if you look at all the stats and all the... The, the the KPIs of the match from possession to shots at goals, shots on target, uh, duels won, and all that. You you realize that a lot was positive for us, and it's a game that statistically you would say it's a match that you should have won, but we did not do well enough to be able to to take our chances. And so we're going to open the floor for some questions. Please come and identify his name and so his publication. Uh, Charles Barber from the SABC. Coach, I'd like for the defeat. Just two quick questions. Um, what was the team talk at halftime when you were trading by two goals down? And then the second question, what do you make of the start that Sundowns have made to the title defense in six matches with two losses? Looks like it's going to be one of those toughest title defense this season. <clears throat> so you wonder what team talk? Uh, there were areas that we were unhappy about that we had to try and resolve uh, how we considered the goals we considered uh, and also the fact that we did not take our chances and we did not really keep the structure that we, we wanted to keep more especially in the half spaces to try and exploit the outside of Ntlapo and Bata but uh, we also knew very well that it's a game that needed a little bit more in terms of aggression and a fight and in terms of the title defense, uh, I don't think there's, 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 there's so much that has happened that should suggest that we, we are off the rails or the title is going to be very, very difficult. It is always difficult to, to play super sport. It is always difficult to, to fight for the championship in South Africa. It looks like it's easy at the end, but it's never easy. And, uh, who, who says we are entitled to win a game against Supersport? Who says we are entitled to win a game against uh, TS Galax or Sikukun? Uh, it's the same Supersport that is still also going to beat some of, this, uh, of, of the teams that we are competing with. So that's the interesting part of this marathon. If you just keep uh, your eye on the prize and you, you take care of the process, you, you are not far away. In terms of our first cycle, we fell off in terms of the number of points, but we still got 10 points in five matches. Uh, we still have 12 points to fight for in this cycle. So for me, it's, it's not, it's not uh, a trains match, but it's, a, it's warning signs. And it's very good when these warning signs come early in the season so that you are not complacent, you, you keep your feet on the ground, you stay humble and understand that you are not entitled to get the result. And for, for us, we understand that. And probably it's good that is happening so early in the season that we must be a little bit more focused because we, we will get punished if we are not away. But otherwise, uh, I don't think it's, it's already a stage for people to start panicking. I think it is, it is too early for that. And we, on average, we, we have done well in terms of the number of, of points that we have collected compared to the rest. And uh, we are in the position that we are in because we, we have done fairly well. We have not done the best that we can do, but we, we believe we can do better. But the good thing is that all these signs must come early so that we stay humble and we respect and we, we don't dwell too much on the previous result because there was that element in, in the first half of uh, putting our foot off the pedal sometimes, which we could have continuously kept the stove hot and make it difficult for Supersport because we created a lot of chances, to be honest. And... They were doctored towards the end, but we scored a little bit too late again to, to be able to salvage something out of this game. Good evening, coach. I'm liking the result. Uh, maybe can you just also just disclose as to what is it that you've learned from Supersport this evening in regards to the, from the loss, rather? Is there anything in particular that you've learned from them after this loss? No, there, there's nothing I've learned, to be honest, because whatever happened... Uh, if I look at the chance as the goals that they scored, they scored the goals that we anticipated that when they break out, this is what they are likely to do. And we knew the areas they will be targeting. Uh, it's not a very complicated approach uh, to, to really give you a lot of lessons, to be honest. Yes, question is from Kickoff. Um, I just wanted to check on Ronan. I think this is game in uh, playing. Can you consider him? I know it might be still too early. 
uh, in the season, can you consider, can you consider him now as the number one goalkeeper or is still going to be a rotation? It's not going to be a rotation, but I would not say there is anyone who is number one at, at Sundowns. Uh, we've got four top goalkeepers that uh, can come in and, and play at any given time. It was always important for us to, to induct him very quickly and integrate him into the group, which uh, I, I believe he has done fairly well. But uh, the competition is still wide open. You don't know how this season is going to finish and you don't know who is, what's going to be happening in the Champions League. Uh, when he's still playing, he must also do the best he can to make sure that he stays there because in our team, we've got too many matches and uh, everybody else is expected to give us something. And when we look at what is happening in training, I can tell you that Dennis is looking very good. I can tell you that Riyad is looking very good. Kennedy is looking very good. So, And Ronwin has done very well, to be honest. So the competition is wide open. And uh, we would not really want to dwell into who is number one or number two because we brought him in to come and assist uh, in, in that space and he has done fairly well so far. Can you take the last two questions, Mike? And, uh, Coach Mike, my different visitors. Um, just on Nasir and um, Marcel Valente, it's always a different ball game when a player starts a game and when he comes on as a substitute. Just how, what do you make of their performance from the start and going in, um, <coughs> all the way into the last minute of the game, especially for, Mas um, for Nasir, who also scored a goal, just in their performance today? No, I think uh, Nasir played very well. I think he, he created a lot of very good moments, even first half. Unfortunately, not to score. Got himself into very dangerous positions. Uh, he's still going to help us a lot. Uh, for Marcelo, it was important for him to start the match so that he also knows uh, the speed of our game in South Africa because sometimes when you come in as a substitute, uh, it's easy for people to, to already put you in, a, in the podium and uh, when you start the game and the intensity of the South African match, uh, it's, it's, it's the integration that he needed. He did not perform bad. He had very good moments first half, but he was a little bit off pace in terms of uh, the speed of the game first half. But uh, his performance is good enough to, to suggest that he's going to be very important for us. But it was always going to be important for us to give him a start because it would always leave a false impression when he always comes in late in the game when the opposition is tired and he will start to believe that uh, the opposition in South Africa is, is at that level in terms of intensity. But now I'm sure he's thinking about this thing differently and he will start uh, maybe checking his speed of the game because the, the difference between South African football and many other leagues, uh, our football, because we lose the ball too many times, uh, we, are, we don't take care of the ball. So it's a game that has got too many transitions and most in most leagues they are not used to this uh, because in most leagues they take care of the ball because the speed of their game is a little bit slower and it gives time uh, and space to the player in position but in South Africa it's a transitional game it, it's very difficult to even watch it and enjoy it if you are watching it on TV because sometimes you don't even see where the ball is because the ball is moving very fast than, than what should be happening uh, and it's something that we must really try to improve as a country. But the truth of the matter is, we, we believe he's still going to help us. And it was good that he got uh, into himself into that space for in a game that is very demanding, a derby. Then we, we believe it will help him to be to become a better player going forward. Can you take the last question? Uh, Steve, Steve is here from Daily um, Coach, um, last season I think you lost three games in 13 uh, matches in the league. This season, you've already lost two. Um, what do you make of the competition in the league this season? Would you say maybe it's getting a bit tougher? Um, would you say the other teams are maybe slightly closing that gap? Uh, what I can say is that I'm impressed with uh, what would what, what one would call smaller teams. I think the smaller teams are the ones that are really, really uh, coming very strong, better coaching, better talent identification, better introduction of younger players uh, and that is, is really encouraging in the league and it makes the competition a little bit fierce. I know the competition uh, is expected to be between the, 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 the three big teams which is uh, Chiefs, Paris and Sundowns but the truth of the matter is I think the teams that are, are going to cause us a lot of problems are the ones that we not many people are looking at. 
Uh, Amazulu are coming in very strong. Stellen Bosch is looking very strong. Uh, Sekukuna is doing very well. Uh, TS Galax has done fairly well, to be honest. And I'm also impressed with what Dane is doing at Chipa. The team is looking very solid. And that is encouraging for me because everybody else is thinking about beating Sundowns, but they, they, they forget that they also have to beat each other as well. So that that is going to be very interesting and encouraging for, for, for our football. So personally, I'm happy with what smaller teams are doing. I think they, have, they are checking themselves up a little bit. Uh, and even if when you look at the log table, it tells you that smaller teams uh, we should watch. The only worry would be depth because when you look at the program, it's a little bit congested. You don't know how many players many of these teams will have to sustain themselves in such a grueling program. But otherwise, my personal opinion is that the so-called smaller teams are really checking themselves up and closing the gap uh, from probably the position number six to position number number 16. It's, it's really difficult to know what is, go is going to happen in that space. Thanks, Coach. That concludes the first half.